Welcome Japanese woodblock print collectors and enthusiasts. Today we have an unboxing for you, but it's not the usual type of box. It's this one here. So let's open this up and see what's inside. So we have our package, which as I said is a different shape than what we're normally used to. Normally I just kind of slit this thing open. I'm worried about this one a little bit. but. Let's just continue and do it this way. How about that? Well, that was easy. Once again, I don't have the patience to take off tape and bubble wrap. So I will do it this way here. And here's the lid. Let's pull this up. Nicely wrapped. A scroll and it looks pretty old. So how does one, I guess, like this? Unwrap it this way and then open it out this way. It's an ukiyo-e painting of an oni or demon out for a stroll. And he, he looks pretty blissful as he's walking away from us, his umbrella tossed over his shoulder, and his hairy legs and geta. This is a kakejiku or kakemono, a vertical hanging scroll. Remember the term ukiyo-e means pictures of the floating world, which includes prints, sketches, and paintings. Paintings are more difficult to authenticate because they are one of a kind. This scroll is by the artist Kawanabe Kyosai. And Kyosai, like many of the ukiyo-e artists, changed his name and seal many times over his career. Here are some of the seals that he used that we know about. And here's the matching seal in the lower right corner of our painting. Quick plug, I made a couple of these seals into t-shirt designs because they are so cool. And also on the edge of the scroll, it reads, painted by Kyosai. Here are five interesting facts about Kyosai. At the age of nine, he picked up a human head in the Kanda River. He studied under Utagawa Kuniyoshi and later studied painting at the Kano School and there he was given the nickname, the Painting Demon. But it was difficult to make a living as a traditional Kano school painter, and it really didn't fit his temperament. So he began painting in the ukiyo-e style under the name Kyosai. He was arrested three times for his political paintings. Kyosai is considered by many to be the greatest successor of Hokusai, and the first political caricaturist of Japan. And last but not least, a crater on Mercury has been named in his honor. Kyosai was an amazing artist and worked in several genres and styles. These include traditional formal paintings, woodblock print designs, and humorous sketches and informal paintings like this one. This scroll painting may be a sekiga or spontaneous painting that is a speed painting that he dashes off very quickly within a few minutes. And many of the sekiga were produced at drunken painting parties called shogakai. And Kyosai was one of the stars of the shogakai. And the way the shogakai worked is that an event would be organized and artists like Kyosai were invited. Here's an invitation announcement to a shogakai in the April 1884 edition of the Yomi Uri newspaper. And it says, On the 13th, they will host a shogakai in Ryugoku, at which Kyosai will paint a giant image of a bodhisattva, as well as a thousand other paintings during the day. It will surely be a bustling party. Imagine how much fun it would be to attend one of these parties. The audience paid a fee to enter, and then they could ask any artist to produce a painting or calligraphy, calligraphy for them at no extra charge. These performance art parties 
usually involved a lot of alcohol, and Kyosai loved to get drunk and paint. These types of speed paintings are often regarded as being less important than finished paintings, which require a lot more time and preparation. However, I think you can really see an artist's true personality and skill when they are forced to dash out a painting like this. Side note, if you get a chance, watch our video on Kunichika's drunken party, where Kyosai and his drinking are highlighted. Now the story of the scroll takes an unexpected turn because a few days ago I was on a group chat with some woodblock print collectors and I posted the photo of this Kyosai painting to show them what I was working on. And then Sam said he had a Shibata Zeshin print that had the exact same design and he dropped it into the chat, which led Cohen to rightly remark, I mean, what are the chances that my Kyosai painting that I just happened to bring up has an exact duplicate by another artist and that the person who had that print happened to be in our group chat? It's like a million to one. Shibata Zeshin, in case you don't know, was a painter that was famous for his lacquerware. And he was friends with Kyosai. They both studied under Kuniyoshi and they both exhibited in the 1876 Philadelphia Expo. The only explanation is that one of them copied from the other, which wasn't unusual with um, ukiyo-e artists. But I dug a bit deeper and found this painting by Zeshin on the Bonhams auction website of a demon reciting prayers from 1881. If we compare them all, they are all slightly different in the painting, the shading, and the details, but it leaves the question, which came first? I doubt we will ever know. Zeshin died in 1891 and Kyosai died in 1889 at the age of 57 from stomach cancer. In 1977, Kyosai's granddaughter opened the Kawanabe Kyosai Memorial Museum in Saitama, Tokyo. Thanks for watching this unboxing and unexpected mystery. Please like and subscribe and happy collecting.